The United States of America is well known for inventing mind-blowing technologies that have never been seen before anywhere else in the world. Some of these technologies are used in everyday activities to make life easier for citizens. Additionally, some technological advancements are utilized as weapons of mass destruction. The United States Navy recently admitted that they have developed something so advanced that it cannot be stopped after it was discovered that they had been conducting background research. What was produced by the U.S. Navy? Would this precipitate a revolt? Join us as we investigate the manner in which the United States Navy acknowledged that it had developed something so advanced that it could not be stopped. The United States Navy is a significant branch of the United States Armed Forces that is responsible for controlling, defending, and providing seaborne support to other U.S. military services. In addition, it ensures efficiency in their duties at sea by maintaining overall security wherever the United States' interests extend as long as they are on land. The ships of the United States Navy are built to deal with any imminent threat, including those that could arise in the coming decades. As a result, the ships have a number of advanced technologies and survival systems. The USS Zumwalt is one of the newly constructed warships in the fleet as they continue to improve their technology. The largest and most technologically advanced surface combatant ever to rule the seas is known as the USS Zumwalt. This warship is the lead ship that is equipped with the multi-mission next-generation destroyers, which were developed to establish naval supremacy on the seats. It has a stealthy design, wave-piercing tumble-home hull, cutting-edge electric propulsion, and the most recent war-fighting technology and weaponry installed inside. The Zumwalt-class destroyer allows the Navy to experiment with new systems and missions, while also carrying out a variety of deterrence, sea control, command and control, and power projection missions. This magnificent ship possesses all of these groundbreaking features while maintaining its stealth, making it difficult to spot whether it is close to the shore or far out in the seas. The U.S. Navy would be able to fulfill its maritime missions at sea thanks to the features of this war machine, as well as implement new technologies that would assist in meeting the new security environments. A laser weapon that has the capability of destroying an aircraft in mid-flight is one of these new technologies that are currently being evaluated for their efficacy on additional U.S. warships. As new warships have been built, some of these technologies need to be equipped for better defense, which is why the test was carried out. The U.S. Navy has been venting and testing laser weapons in case they need to be improved. A warship in the U.S. Navy's Gulf of Aden was used for the test. With this high laser weapon, the warship was able to fire at a floating target. The Solid State Laser, a technology maturation laser weapon system demonstrator that was installed on the San Antonio class amphibious transport dock USS Portland, was the subject of this test. The effectiveness of these mounted lasers in protecting ships from unmanned vessels and small boats was tested. The amphibious transport dock ship in the Navy Pacific Fleet's images and videos performed a first system-level implementation of the high-energy class solid stay laser to disable the aerial drone aircraft. The images depict the laser emerging from the deck of the warship. Additionally, brief video clips of the aftermath were recorded, showing what appears to be the burning of the drone. The exact location of the test was not included in the post that the Navy Pacific Fleet made of the clips. It only indicated that the test took place on May 16th in the Pacific. The weapon's power was also concealed. According to a 2018 report from the International Institute for Strategic Studies, advanced sea tests against unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and small craft may have been conducted by a 150 kilowatt laser. Because it will assist, this was a significant technological innovation leap. The solid state laser weapon system demonstrator's capabilities against potential threats are of great interest to the U.S. Navy and armed forces as a whole. The commanding officer of Portland, where the laser weapon was tested, Captain Akari Sanders, also stated that he agreed with this. With this new advanced capability, we are redefining war at sea for the Navy, he went on to say. Because the laser technology can effectively defend against drones or smaller armed boats, the Navy wants to use these lasers, which it also refers to as directed energy weapons. The development and implementation of directed energy weapons like the LWSD give effective warfighter benefits, 
and provides the commander with increased decision space and response preferences, the Navy Pacific Fleet stated, addressed this issue. A live fire exercise using a 30 kilowatt laser weapon was conducted earlier in 2017 aboard the amphibious transport ship USS Ponce, which is located in the Persian Gulf. Laser tests like these are not just happening for the first time. At the time, a laser weapons system officer named Lieutenant Cale Hughes explained how they function. According to Hughes, it is a machine that fires a large number of photons at an approaching object. We don't worry about wind, we don't worry about range, and we don't worry about anything else, he stated in a statement. We're ready to connect with the objective at the speed of light. However, warships like the USS Portland in the Gulf of Aden would appear to benefit significantly more from this technology. This is because both manned and unmanned systems pose a growing threat to vessels in this area and the surrounding waters. The Iran-backed Houthi rebels' explosive-laden drone boats are one example of the threats in this area. Prior to the high-energy laser weapon system, flying drones pose additional aerial threats to vessels in this area. Recently, the USS Portland underwent tests. It was put to the test for the first time in May 2020, when it was used to defeat an unmanned aerial vehicle and sail in the Pacific. Based on the observations that the Navy kept from testing the 30-kilowatt laser weapon system aboard the USS Ponce in the 5th Fleet Area of Responsibility, the laser weapon system demonstrator that is equipped with the USS Portland is a more effective follow-on system. However, the United States Navy has been looking into implementing other directed energy technologies in addition to this laser weapon system and laser weapon system demonstrator as it modernizes its combat systems. The High Energy Laser Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, also known as the Helio system, has also been the subject of planning by the Sea Service. It is a less potent laser weapon system that the Navy could use to equip destroyers of the Arleigh Burke class. Additionally, this kind of work is not restricted to the Navy alone. Similar to the development of hypersonic missiles, the development and implementation of laser weapon systems has attracted war-fighting units from all military branches to divert their attention from competition between great powers and the likelihood of a high-intensity conflict. In this way, more models are being made, yet one created by Lockheed Martin is as yet viewed as the most impressive. Although Lockheed Martin has consistently supplied the Department of Defense with military-grade weapons and equipment, their most recent delivery of the most potent combat laser ever produced takes the cake. All of the United States Armed Forces have been working to develop equipment that would prevent all aerial threats like mortars, rockets, drones, and missiles from reaching their targets. This has been a wish of the militaries, the most potent military-grade laser ever seen. The brand new Lockheed Martin Combat Laser System has fulfilled their wishes. Different new threats have emerged as a result of modern warfare, and several of them necessitate a completely different defense strategy. A new era has begun with the proliferation of modern war machines, from inexpensive drones to cutting-edge hypersonic missiles. These new advancements thus make the skies dangerous and make the world's militaries foster new innovations and a few other insightful ways of countering these undeniably powerful strategies. Israel has a wonderful example of this technology, an Iron Dome rocket system, a technology that shields the nation from threats from the air, is located in the Middle Eastern nation. However, Israel has not stopped there. The country has begun testing and implementing the Iron Beam, an anti-drone and anti-missile laser system. The situation is also similar to that of the United States, where the Air Force and Navy are testing these kinds of systems right now, but no date has been set for their actual field deployment. The majority of these systems have a power output of approximately 60 kilowatts, which can render Class 3 drones useless. Despite the fact that Class 3 robots are around 1,300 pounds, the Iron Bar framework for its situation gloats a considerably more significant 100 kilowatts of generally speaking power that can counter adversary rockets and mortars overhead and wreck them with this recently conveyed framework. In terms of performance, Lockheed Martin has set a new standard, ushering in a new era for laser defense. This new era is represented by the aerospace company's brand new 300 kilowatt laser system. Lockheed Martin is leading this new era. The new Lockheed Martin creation utilizes a Star Wars demise star way to deal with send-off its super-powerful light bar. 
The laser basically works by combining a number of smaller individual lasers with different wavelengths into a single larger beam, the powerful light-blasting missile beam. As per the aviation organization, this unearthly beamer joined with high-energy laser engineering innovation is at the core of Lockheed's capacity to convey such a strong framework. Lockheed Martin expanded the power and proficiency and decreased the weight and volume of constant wave high-energy lasers, which diminishes the gamble for future handling endeavors of high-power laser weapon frameworks, said Rick Cordaro, VP of Lockheed Martin Progressed Item Arrangements, in an explanation from the Safeguard Assembling Organization. This laser system is not the only high-powered combat laser weapon that the company has delivered to date, according to the same statement. This aerospace company was also proud of its statement when it said that the contractor delivered quickly ahead of schedule when they were given the go-ahead to start working on the project in 2019 from the Department of Defense. This 300-kilowatt class laser is ready to integrate with the Department of Defense demonstration efforts, including the U.S. Army's Indirect Fires Protection Capability High Energy Laser Demonstrator, ifpc -HL, Laser Weapon System. A release from Lockheed Martin Corporation stated when the aerospace company was asked how the Department of Defense could utilize this new laser technology to its full potential. The U.S. military is testing and evaluating this system, just like previous laser systems. There is no real period or date for field sending. Instead, the U.S. Army will first put the systems through a rigorous evaluation process. After that, they might make their way to the field, where the troops will use them in all their glory. The Army's IFPC demonstration efforts will be aided by the Healthy Laser. The company provides an explanation of the anticipated testing timeline, which calls for this year's laboratory and field testing. The new 300-kilowatt laser from Lockheed Martin probably has enough power to target even the most powerful missile systems, including hypersonic missiles. It would only be a matter of time before lasers of this unique power level begin to appear on the battlefield of the 21st century, given the frequent advancements in such systems made by militaries around the world. Do you believe this technology will remain undefeated when they do appear? Please share your thoughts with us in the following comment section.